this is my fourth year here now and it's great to be working with a club that is so proactive in the community and the work that they do. Um, we're here every year and the club have always been you know, really helpful, um, you know, bringing players, working with us and the trust just to get you know, the pupils in and it's been a long-standing relationship and uh, yeah, it's really great, I hope it continues. So um, there were three um, round robin that we were doing. So we had one of the, some of the kids going to do a stadium tour. Some of the kids had a little workshop with a show no to racism. And I was doing a little workshop about stereotype. Just getting an insight of the um, understanding of kids what stereotype is. And you can clearly see that the schools or the environment that we live in has educated these kids, with the, um, especially with the question that they came forward with. You know what I mean? So it's really nice to see that they have an understanding that, you know, racism is not just about your skin colour. You know, it can be, again, the way you speak, the way you um, present yourself and stuff like that. I so recently, last season when I was playing for Crew, um, um, in, in the League 2 game, I got racially abused and it was, uh, it was from the other team and it was actually the fans from the other team that reported it and now it's an ongoing police matter. And yeah, it's just... Like, obviously it's, it was an, an upsetting moment for me, but it's good that, you know, fans are now starting to realise, like, okay, yeah, this isn't right, even if it's their own team fans that are, and they're still reporting it. And yeah, I think that's good. And, yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't think I've had to answer so many questions before, but yeah, it was really good and, I think it, this is really important and it, I think it's good to, for these kids to be educated from a young age on, on racism. Seeing all the kids like really engaging and to learn about racism, I think me as myself, being involved with it, like I've personally been, race, been racially abused and for the kids to want to learn so much about it, and like different ways to deal with it, I think it was really nice to see. We're definitely moving in the right direction. The fact that we're talking about it, like I said, the fact that this exists, these workshops, and the fact that now there are much heavier consequences um, when we see it in the Premier League, when it's caught. I think we've got a long way to go, but the fact that we can report it, there's a reporting system, there's systems in place where people can report it now. I think that's and move in the right direction, definitely. Well, being a, the, I'd say, the leading football education charity, you know, we utilise the power of the role model because uh, with you have these players, top players as well in the community for the men's and women's team, um, giving their, you know, sharing their lived experiences, offering guidance on how to save your challenge racism, you know, it really gets the, the pupils excited and uh, makes them want to be part of this community and help drive change in their, in their schools and in their town. So it's massive to have the players give up their time as well because it really does help massively. And a huge thanks has to go to Taylor Wimpy for sponsoring today's event and just being you know, upstanders in the community, helping sponsoring everything that's been going on today. It's been a pleasure to have working in collaboration with them and the Trust and the football club and to make positive change in Leighton. It's been fantastic. And so huge thank you to them.